Look, the Paul portrait, that is very important. Paul, Paul, that's a tradition. That is the, the tradition of civil engineering in using a geometrical property. So some constructions, circle-based con graphic constructions, incorporate the notion of Paul of the graphical con graphic construction. And that's something which is really, really useful for our purposes, the Paul. There is a property that says, there is always, in the Mohr circle, once I have the Mohr circle, there is just one point, a single point, which is called the pole of the Mohr circle, which has the following properties. If I consider a certain plane on the point and the representative stress, the normal stress and the initial stress, if I trace through that point a line which is tangent or it, 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 it has the same direction than the trace of the plane that I'm considering. So I just considered that one. I could have considered another trace, okay? But I took that one. If I trace from the pole, assuming that it exists, then we'll see how to, to find it, okay? If it exists, if I just trace a parallel to the trace of this plane, I obtain, of course, an intersection with another point of the Mohr circle. You agree with me? So then, surprisingly enough, the coordinates of this point, according to the Mohr circle, the coordinate sigma a, which is that distance, and the coordinate tau a, which is that distance, are exactly the stresses on the plane that this point is representing, or the plane that I consider. So this provides, assuming that we know a pole, this provides a very easy way to obtain and to calibrate and to get information about what are the stresses in any plane. If I am concerned about, or I want to compute about the stresses in a vertical plane, if I know the pole, what, is the, what are the stresses in a vertical plane? I just have to, to just trace a vertical line from the pole and the point that it intersects would provide a sigma and tau. That sigma and this tau is precisely the stresses on this plane. What about the stresses in a horizontal plane? Well, if I just, through the pole, I just trace an horizontal plane, horizontal line, that line will intersect the small circle in another point, which we that we see now here. That point is then the coordinates sigma and tau of that point is precisely the sigma and tau, the stresses that, according to the more circle principle, more uh, circle uh, signs uh, criteria, uh, the, uh, the, the stresses which act on that plane. Okay? So you see that if we find the pole, we find the pole, it's very easy to, uh, to use it just to see, for instance, if I want to know the plane in which the maximum tangential stress is acting, what is that plane? Well, it's that one, right? Mm -hmm. Or if the minimum in sign would be that one. Okay, so yeah, that, that's easy. Okay, so that is a very useful graphical. And the property is also, the, 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 the reverse, can be reversed. So if I just join one point of the Mohr circle with the pole, the trace, of this, uh, the trace of the plane where these stresses act are this line. So you want to know, what I told you, what is the plane in which the principal stresses act? So I just, I know that this is going to be that plane. What is the plane where the pr second principal stress act? That would be that one, <coughs> and so on. Okay, by the way, you see that in virtual sem properties, trigonometrical properties, you see that this angle is a pi over two. Because for an eccentric angle, the, uh, an angle of a circle which is not central, central angles are the angles which has the, s the, the, the vertex of the angle at the center, okay? And external angles are the angles who which have the vertex at any point of the circle. So this angle is always this angle is always how much? Pi over two, straight lines. This shows that the plane which, which, or, or which the sigma one stress 
and the sigma two stresses, sigma one and sigma two stresses act, are, if this is, is, is pi over two, that means that the directions of the planes are orthogonal. So sigma one is orthogonal to sigma two, which already knew, but can be obviously just confirmed by this uh, 